Much like the weather, inflation is finally cooling off. It still hasn't reached the targeted benchmark of 2%, but progress is progress. Mortgage interest rates have followed suit by declining week over week for more than five weeks now. The new conforming loan limits for 2024 have been announced by the FHFA. Many analysts' predictions were lower than the actual amount of $766,550, which is now the new cap for most of the country's single-family properties. In accordance with the Housing and Economic Recovery Act, this limit is adjusted year over year taking into account the average price of a home in the U.S. With the nation's largest title insurer, Fidelity National Financial, being the latest victim of LockBit 3.0's ransomware, the company has only acknowledged that a cybersecurity incident disrupted their title and escrow services. Cybersecurity threats are constantly evolving and finance-related companies are having a tough time keeping up with the barrage of attacks. The SEC has issued new rules for cybersecurity management and late material incident reporting, which go into effect as soon as December of 2023 for larger reporting companies and June of 2024 for smaller reporting companies. Now is the time to reassess your cybersecurity plan and schedule a cybersecurity audit to ensure your company is prepared for the potential deluge of attacks that may be headed your way. As a licensed realtor in Utah, a topic that has been top of mind is the recent NAR lawsuit drama. We've all heard about how it will affect agents, but have you started to think about how it might affect you? There will likely be trade issues with seller concessions, 2-1 buy-downs could be problematic, and there may be potential barriers for veterans trying to buy homes who are not allowed to pay real estate commissions. The one thing that we can count on, though, is that we know we'll be seeing more changes in the near future as guidelines try to keep up with these lawsuits and their appeals. I'm LaDonna Lockard. This is The Interest. For more on these and all of today's top stories, go to nationalmortgageprofessional.com.